She said that when you, she was up there, um, it was just her and the machine, the hum of the machine. There was no discrimination up there. None of that mattered up there. All that mattered up there was her and the machine. And I think that that is something that even I could take forward. When I'm doing my job, when I'm focusing on those things, the fact that I may be one of a few or you know, not like the others, I can put that to the back of my mind and just focus on what it is that I'm tasked with, with doing. Colonel retired Meryl Tingisdall. She is the first and only African-American female to ever fly the U-2. She wasn't looking at it from a I'm a, the first perspective. She just wanted to be a good pilot, right? She wanted to do a good job. She wanted to accomplish the mission, of course, like any good airman. She cares about those coming behind her. Even since our interview, I've had the chance to speak to her and, and connect with her and ask questions of her, mentorship type questions. She checks in on me, sees how I'm doing. She genuinely cares, and I think that that's important. And as mid-grade officers, that's something that we can take forward. No matter where we, how we progress in our careers or the great things that we do, we need to remember to look after and take care of our people. I think that sometimes um, when thinking about someone who has broken barriers, barriers like that, who's been the first to do something, I, I don't know, I expect some person that's just going to maybe not be down to earth or, you know, maybe they will think that they are as amazing as we think they are. And uh, I didn't get the impression that she felt, felt that way at all. When I told her about uh, what her accomplishments meant to me, uh, as an African-American female, she, she seemed like really kind of caught off guard even to this day that she'd had such an impact on someone like me. It, it didn't even cross my mind that I would have the opportunity to build such a, bo a bond and strong relationship with someone like Colonel Tingestall.